Hi, hello, <coughs> good morning, welcome to my class. And we people are discussing different things, uh, different, <coughs> different, different aspects that is connected with remote sensing, <coughs> digital image processing, uh, image restoration, image enhancement, <coughs> image classification, likewise, different things. And I already said I will I will do a class that is connected with fusion, uh, <clears throat> fusion of different images, and the spectral indexes, <laughs> index or indices. See, index we can call it so index and indices. Uh, one of the most important lesson, and you know, uh, let me tell you one more thing. We are almost uh, near to finish our syllabus. I mean, it is a class. That's for the application. What are the major applications? Uh, applications of remote sensing data and um, certain oh, what technical things. How to apply this data uh, for different things. That means it will study about spatial process, spatial pattern, and uh, spatial behavior. So in that uh, classification, image classification, we already learned about land use, land cover classification. And you know that what do you mean by land use and what do you mean by land cover? Land use is the use of the land for different purpose. Uh, that means cultural features such as road, railways, built up area, uh, park, public space, etc. And uh, the land cover that is something natural, forest, uh, then water bodies, etc. Uh, so that are the that is the major application application level uh, application of remote sensing that uh, uh, remote sensing land remote environmental remote sensing that is the major application that land use land cover classification change detection uh, likewise that kinds of things and uh, see in that lesson today that uh, spectral indices so i am taking you you people just uh, i'm taking you to oh, that uh, previous lesson please go through that video uh, spectral enhancement uh, we have discussed different things that is uh, principal compound analysis pca likewise in that one i have mentioned what do you mean by spectral indices it is a method of enhancing the image for extracting the spatial pattern spatial process and spatial behavior to study scientific study right we are using the uh, uh, that uh, images for different things that is connected with agriculture built up area <clears throat> vegetation soil moisture soil whether it is drought then water index like this different application so in that case we are we will use the uh, method that is generating certain indices or indexes that is known as NDVI, NDBI, B, EVI, SAVI, SA, uh, SAVI. So different, we will use different index for uh, what? Uh, enhancing the image for understanding uh, what kinds of things are uh, things are there. Then for uh, uh, that, uh, for uh, what? Uh, for output thematic map, we will reclassify with the help of software. See, all those uh, generating all those indexes and all those things, which is with the help of uh, what? Uh, machines, that is uh, hardware and software. No other things. It's just only uh, the works done by the machines. There are certain formulas and all those things. And you, I have given a note that is connected with the band combination. Uh, band st that uh, layer stacking or that stacking different satellite images that so many things it's connected you connect all those things all those videos then only you can easily understand the concepts different concepts right so uh, my dear friends uh, today <clears throat> we are going to discuss about that uh, uh, one of the most important that is spectral indices part one there are so many spectral indices are there to study about agriculture, to study about vegetation, to study about forest, to study about uh, that uh, soil, 
to study about built up area like with so many inter so we are discussing only few a uh, few important things so for the prerequisite for this video that is please go through the uh, video that uh, spectral enhancement what are the different process behind spectral enhancement and uh, get a good prerequisite for learn this lesson for understanding about spectral uh, indices i will show you one more video that is uh, displaying the what is that a different uh, that uh, different spectral indices indices that showing vegetation uh, soil i will show you one then graphical so that is simple uh, graphical representation that images okay let us start our lesson and uh, i uh, see kind remind kindly and regularly attend the assessment watch the video attend the assessment that is the only thing to learn the things i know it is a practical lesson and we are doing just blah 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 that theoretical uh, theoretical reading i am just reading certain slides and asking certain questions i know the issues i know the seriously i know the issue but there is no other way kindly read the uh, lesson and uh kindly attend the assessment go for assessment regularly go for assessment uh nearly 7 or 8 people are regularly attending the assessment and a few people are not attending the assessment so uh kindly keep up with the assessments don't forget uh, keep up with the assessment right so let us start our lesson <coughs> that is uh, spectral enhancement that uh, all we already discussed about spectral enhancement so create expand transform analyze or compress multiple bands of image data i already given one note that is mentioning different band combination uh, what you mean by that band combination what you mean by band band 1 band 2 likewise can be used to uh, both visually enhance data and prepare it for image classification fine see here that different is uh, the, uh, the a method of method of algorithm that is something different right uh, in the erdas imagine we will use a ton uh, just click few click but in the case of rgs we will use a tool that is known as a raster calculator i have given a uh, video for raster calculator you may raster calculation what are the different functions please go through that video that is for bsc students what you may raster uh, that gis raster analysis clearly mentioning about what you may raster calculator you can go and uh, you can watch that video for understanding better uh, that better ideas fine i have given that video and you can watch so that are uh, types of spectral enhancement uh, principal compound component analysis uh, tasseled cap and that that is not i have uh, that, that that explanation i have not given but i have explained other Uh, other method it is not in your syllabus fine so i explain different uh, spectral uh, enhancement method so principal compound analysis tasseled cap then indices it is a spectral enhancement method so indices create new image by mathematically combining the pixel values from multiple image bands most often ratios of band values band ratio i have explained what is by band ratio you can kindly watch that video for better insights create new images by mathematically combining the pixel values from multiple image bands see i already said that image processing that uh, uh, image analysis and image processing image classification image enhancement image restoration all those things are clearly connected with statistics right computer science and bit geography so kindly understand the statistical lessons uh, so that is uh, some points about indexes and uh, every index is basically certain combination formula of the sensor measured reflectance properties water content chlorophyll content chlorophyll means that uh, vegetation and agriculture a uh, pigment etc <clears throat> uh, that uh, properties at two or more wavelengths that reveals particular characteristics of vegetation <clears throat> a sensor advanced earth observing satellites provide remote sensing 
experts with new data to fuel their research and improve existing analysis common uses of indices mineral exploration reduce radiometric difference minimize <coughs> shadow effects vegetation analysis that is if you uh, uses mineral exploration reduce radiometric difference <coughs> minimize shadow effects and vegetation analysis so the first index we are going to discuss about that is ndvi <coughs> normalized difference in vegetation index so uh, from that name itself it is clear that that is connected with vegetation for analyzing vegetation vegetation growth whether it is uh, uh, that good uh, good quality whether it is live so that is the formula uh, that just behind that uh, uh, what uh, that um, what is that Uh, just be, uh, behind that uh, heading, fine. That uh, B five minus B four into that that formula. B stands for band band five band four band five band four. Fine. <clears throat> the normalized difference vegetation index is often used to monitor drought, monitor <coughs> perfect agricultural production, assist in prediction uh, hazardous. Hazards, fire zones, and map the third encroachments. The NDVI is a NDVI is a standardized vegetation index which allows us to generate an image showing the relative biomass, the chlorophyll absorption, absorption in red band, and relatively high reflectance of vegetation. In near infrared band in the air, are using for calculating NTVA. So we can understand the uh, what in that map. See, I will show you a map so that how the vegetation index is uh, showing. I'll show you a map. Okay, not now. I will show you uh, that uh, how it is relevant. Fine. It is all about studying about vegetation. Whether vegetation is uh, that uh, the growth, whether it is in a good uh, good condition or in a uh, drought drought affected condition, and the next one is the second uh, index indices we are discussing that is soil adjusted vegetation index (SAVI). SAVI soil adjusted vegetation index was designed to minimize soil brightness influence. Its creator Hute. Added a soil adjustment factor L to the equation of NTVI, NTVI in order to correct for soil noise effects, soil color, soil moisture, soil variability across region, which tend to impact the results. So that is the formula for NTVI. That is so that he just added plus L into one plus L. That is the formula. See, you need no, no need no. See, you have to understand the formula. Uh, that see uh, in that uh, previous lesson, here you have to by heart, learn by heart the formulas. Most probably that uh, any 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 of the three or four formula they will ask for this index. It is simple. You have to learn this formula for uh, for examination purpose. In that mission, there is no I mean the mission you have you no need to do this formula and all those things. Just input the image, raster image, uh, just few clicks that will generate the result. Uh, taking that image to the software, another software, or in that RDAS or RGS, and just making layout and preparing the thematic map. So that is the formula for uh, soil adjust. Soil adjusted vegetation index. Key fact: it is L is a variable. Its values range within uh, one to one, depending on the amount of green vegetation present in the area. To run the remote sensing analysis of areas with a high green vegetation, L is set to zero, in which is of SAVI index. SAVI index data will be equal to NDVI, whereas low green vegetation regions require L equal one. L equals zero and L equal one. When to use for analysis of young crops, 
for arid regions with uh, sparse vegetation, less than 50% of total area and exposed soil surfaces. Then the next one, the last one in this video, uh, that is enhanced vegetation index, right? It is also somewhat connected with that uh, NDVI. The enhanced vegetation index was invented by Liu and Hute to simultaneously correct NDVI results for atmospheric influence and soil background, background signals, especially in areas of dense canopy. Canopy, you know that what in the canopy. The value value range of EV EVI that enhanced vegetation index is one to one, and for healthy vegetation it, it varies between 0 0.0 Oh, sorry, 0 0.2 and 0 0.8. Formula for EVI, right? This is the formula. And the key fact, EVI contains coefficient of C1. You know that coefficient means what? You people are studying about strategy. And uh, I have almost forgotten what even the coefficient of those things. Variability, coefficient variability, Strategic things, right? Coefficient of C1, C2 to connect, uh, correct for uh, aerosol scattering present in the atmosphere and L2 adjust for soil canopy background. Beginner of GIS analysis may be confused by what values should be used and how to calculate enhanced vegetation index for different satellite data. Traditionally, for NASA's MODIS, I already said a type of satellite image sensor which EVI index was developed for C1 equal 6, C2 equal 7.5 and L, L, <coughs> L1 in the case you are wondering how to see enhanced vegetation index using Sentinel-2 or Landsat-8 data. Use of use the same values for simply or simply use crop monitoring which also allows to download the results. See, crop, crop monitoring, it is a facility available to uh, what? That provided a cloud computing technology to monitor certain crop patterns when to use for analyzing areas of earth with a large amount of chlorophyll, such as rainforest, and perfectly with minimum topographical effects, not mountains, mountainous regions. Fine. That are the use of EVI. So thank you. Thanks for watching. So three index that is SAVI, EVI, and NDVI. And I will the remaining indices I will teach you in the next lesson. So thank you. Thanks for watching today's video. Uh, kindly watch all the videos and uh, attend the uh, what? Attend the ass assessment regularly. That will credit you in your score sheet. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks a lot.